Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Virginia. Let me open with prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, I pray that you will bless this video. May you have all the glory for it, and may your words be spoken, not mine. And may everyone who comes to watch it be blessed. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Today is Tuesday, December 6th, 2022, and I would like to present the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus loves you. And he wants you to spend eternity with him, but that cannot happen unless you are born again. So first, repent. Admit that you're a sinful creature, like we all are. Then believe that Jesus is who he says he is, fully God, fully man. He came to earth, lived a perfect and sinless life. He shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins, all of your sins, past, present, and future, no matter what you've done. For the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. He died, was buried, and rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. All you have to do is believe that. Believe it without adding in any of your own good works or trying to be good. It has nothing to do with belonging to any church, being baptized, or practicing any religion. The moment you believe, it's like a personal encounter in your heart between you and God himself, where you call on his name. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You might say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, or Lord Jesus, I believe you, save me. Whatever it is, talk to God. And the moment you believe, you are born again, you receive the Holy Spirit, he will indwell you forever because you cannot lose your salvation. So I hope you've believed because the alternative, not believing, means that you're going to spend eternity in hell. And nobody wants that. So please believe. My email address is in the description box or you can leave a comment below. Well, I first wanted to give you an update on our health. And mine is okay. I had kind of a downturn this morning. Um, I know for sure that Satan does not want me to post this video. But I will post it, God willing. That's the first thing. Um, but I thank God for all of your prayers. I am getting better. I think I'm on, on the way up. But I could not take Dan to the doctor today. And so for the first, this is the first time in 16 months that I haven't been able to do that. So he had to take an Uber. So um, also my close relative who's in ICU, she is semi-conscious. She still has a breathing tube. And the last I heard today is that she can squeeze her left hand, but not with her right hand. So there might be brain damage, but... I'm trusting God for a complete recovery. And my dog, she's okay. Thank you so much for all of your prayers. She um, has bouts of gastrointestinal trouble, and we take her to the vet. And uh, she bounces back every time. We were really worried this time, like we were going to have to put her down. But it turned out she's fine. So thank you for praying. Thank you so much. Well, I want to update you on a number of things. First of all, on 355. That number, somebody who hasn't seen the previous videos doesn't understand the significance of it. I will leave a link in the description box to the video that I posted that explains how God gave the number 355 to a brother in Christ. And I'll just give you a summary. God spoke that number to him in his heart on November 18th. The 355th day of the year is December 21st. 
December 21st is the winter solstice, the least daylight and the most darkness of any day of the year. 355 in Strong's Concordance is I destroy, I annihilate. And he was told to add the date. 12 plus 21 plus 20 plus 22 equals 75 which is Abraham's age, the exact age that he was when he left Ur of the Chaldees and traveled to, the, to Canaan, the promised land. So now on the same day, a video notification pinged his phone at exactly 7.27 a.m. Also while out for a walk, he saw a neighborhood car license plate with 7.27 on it. And 727 is related to 726, which means Harpazzo. Now, going back to 355, just recently we saw that the United States has an overall battle force of 296 ships. China, however, has an overall battle force of 355 ships. None of these are coincidences. So let me just tell you the movie 355. This movie is predictive programming from Hollywood. It's no coincidence that that's the name of the movie, the title. I posted a video about it yesterday, and it was 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. As I said, the movie 355 video from yesterday was 2 minutes 30 seconds long, and 2.30 in Strong's Greek is truly, indeed, of a surety, verily. And 2.30 in Strong's Hebrew is be gone. Kind of like Harpazzo, right? Well, but that's not all. Then a sub posted this comment yesterday, on the the in the comments under the movie 355 video here's what she said i got a prophecy from the lord two nights ago at 2 30 a.m and god said judgment is coming now and america will receive a double portion of judgments and it's starting now yeah. and accept Repent and accept Jesus Christ ASAP. Time is up. And notice that the Lord awoke her at 2.30 a.m. And based on what she said, this is related to Revelation 18, verses 4 through 8. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm wrapped up in my blanket here. Sorry. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even as she rewarded you. And double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, fill to her double how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord who judgeth her. The next topic uh, to bring to you today is Pearl Harbor. That's tomorrow, December 7th, the anniversary when it was attacked, December 7th, 1941. And um, this is a message that I got from a brother. I keep seeing 1941 and hearing it. Pearl Harbor was December 7th, 1941. Furthermore, the Hawaiian Islands just had the volcano that started spewing lava, Mauna Loa, 
and became active and hasn't had any activity in the last 40 years. But I am seeing it very clearly. Judgment is coming. I don't know if anything's going to happen on December 7th or not. It might just be pointing towards war, and that's how he, that's God, is linking it to me. But we shall see. But I do know December 21 is judgment. I think something is going to happen before then. The rapture could be absolutely any time. Then he said, I literally saw 1941 on my walk as I was talking to the Lord, and he took me to it. Okay, then a subscriber told me about a friend who kept getting December 7th, 1941. Well, that's not all. I subscribe to a born-again blogger who published an article about Pearl Harbor yesterday. He stated in the article that the United States mainland was not notified about the attack on our Navy until 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. There's that 2.30 again, meaning truly, indeed, verily, of a surety in Greek. Strong's Greek and Strong's Hebrew is, be gone. Now, I, here's what I think. It could simply be a similar representation of what's going to happen when judgment falls on December 21. It could be something will happen in the heavenlies tomorrow. It could be that something will happen in the physical world. I do think it's the physical world, but I might be wrong. But here's why I think it will be something, uh, just a second, it will be something physical. Just this morning, I woke up, popped my eyes open, and looked at the notifications of videos that had come in overnight. The first thing I saw was a video featuring Pearl Harbor. And as soon as I saw it, the Holy Spirit went ping in my spirit. It's like the first thing I saw when I woke, opened my eyes this morning. Then a dear friend left me a voice message, and in the one for today, he had just awakened from a strange dream, and he was telling me about it. He said, in the dream, a friend he knew was at his apartment. Well, she picked up a knickknack or something from the window ledge and headed into the bathroom. Well, that doesn't make any sense, of course. But So he told her right, excuse me, he told her, that the light switch is on the outside of the bathroom. So she turned around, came out, and said to him, Pearl Harbor. You just can't make this stuff up. You, you just can't. And so I want to close with, I want to close with Isaiah 24, verses 1 through 3. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled. For the Lord has spoken this word. This is for now, right now. Probably other times in past history, but we know that this is for now. There is another segment of very important information that I'm unable to put into this video right now. And I will make a second video shorter, hopefully today, because I think it's very important. But um, I'm just going to stop right now. Thank you for visiting. God bless you. I love you all. If there's another video to be made, which I think there is, I will post it according to God's will. Until then, bye for now.